Hi everyone. In this lesson we want to see how we can use a graph to help factor a trinomial. Now what we want to notice first is there is a relationship between the zeros of a polynomial function and the factors of that function. So for example here's a function f of x equals x squared minus x minus 20. You remember the zeros are the values of x that make the function value equal to zero. Okay. So if I were to graph this whole function, I'm really plotting the infinite number of ordered pairs x, y that make this true. So for every single value of x, like if I plug in x equals 0, uh, I would get y equals negative 20. So over here at x equals 0, my graph is down here somewhere at negative 20. And for every single x you plug in, you'll get a different y. And when you plot all those y's, you get this graph that, that I have uh, copied off of my graphing calculator here. Well. When I look for the zeros, I'm looking for the y value is 0. Well, the y value being 0 is right down here, right? It's right along the x-axis. And you can look and see that x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is a 0. And then you can see over here that it x equals negative 4 is a 0. All right? So if I go and solve this algebraically, I again to find the zero set y equal to zero and then I'd have to factor that as x and x and the factors of 20 that would give me 1 in the middle would be 4 and 5 and if I put a minus on the 5 and a plus on the 4 that will give me a negative 5x and a 4x makes a negative x in the middle and then 4 times negative 5 is negative 20 then I set each of these factors equal to 0, and I will get x equals negative 4 here. And if I set this one equal to 0, I will get x equals 5 here. And notice that those are the values that we got over here by, by uh, doing it graphically. So if I wanted to use the graph to help me factor, what I would notice is that right here, if I know from looking at the graph that x equals negative 4, then I could, I could just work in reverse. I could bring the negative 4 on this side to get x plus 4 equals 0. And notice that that's one of my factors. And likewise, if I know that x equals 5 is my uh, 0 from the graph, then I can just bring the 5 on the other side so I get 0. And x minus 5 was the other factor. So if I didn't know how to factor this, I could use my zeros to sort of work in reverse to help me to find those factors. So let's put that together on an example where it might be very difficult to be able to factor this. These numbers are really big. And so if I want to factor x squared minus 46x plus 504, I have to ask myself, well, what are the factors of 504 that will give me 46 in the middle? And I, I don't know any factors of 504. I'd have to get my calculator on some pencil and paper and really think and and figure out what all those factors are uh, but what I can do instead is I can use my my graphing calculator to graph the corresponding uh, polynomial so let's do that so let's graph x squared minus 46x plus 504 and I'll just graph it on my standard window. And because this is such a big number, it, the polynomial might not fit in my window. And sure enough, I don't get anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the zoom button. I'm going to zoom out. Hit number three. You know, if you look real close, it's uh, the blinking right in the center. It's waiting for me to hit enter to zoom out around the pixel where my cursor's at there. And when I zoom out, oh, look at here. I can see it over here. And if I just arrow over here with my calculator, it looks like those zeros are about, what, 18, uh, maybe 17.87. I'd, I'd say maybe 18. If it was going to be a nice number, I'd just round that off to 18. And over here, it looks like uh, maybe 28, 18 and 28. So, so from the graph, it appears, and, and I can check that really quick. Let's just calculate the value. If I think it's 18, plug in 18. And sure enough, it does say the y value is exactly 0. And that's what it means to be a 0. I could hit 28 also. 
Oh, and that's also zero. So from the graph, the uh, zeros are 18 and 28. Okay, so if I have that x equals 18 is a zero and x equals 28, I can bring the 18 on this side, and that tells me that x minus 18 is going to be one of the, the zeros. Okay, I wrote 28, but it should be 18 here. And then likewise here, I'll bring the 28 over, x minus 28 equals zero, and so that's going to be another one of the factors. Now let's check and see if that really works. So I'd get x squared, and then I'd have a negative 28x and a negative 18x. Well, negative 28 and negative 18 does add up to be negative 46x. And if I take negative 18 times negative 28, I'll bet it's going to multiply to give me 504. Okay, let's just double check that. If I take 18 times 28, Yep, sure enough, it's equal to 504. So that's how we can use the graph of a polynomial to help me uh, factor the polynomial.